Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. So um, this week, of course, uh, there was an update for Edge that removed Internet Explorer. And um, I was looking at um, the um, the effects of this. So anywhere in Windows 10 or in Windows 11 now, if you try to find... So Windows 11 doesn't have, by default, Internet Explorer. Uh, Windows 10 might have it, uh, depends on what version you are on and if you had it before. But if you type Internet Explorer and press enter, it immediately brings you to the Microsoft Edge page and shows you the future of Internet Explorer is Microsoft Edge. So uh, they tell you that, you know, the uh, Internet Explorer has been retired in June of last year and blah, blah, blah. So this is kind of interesting because it gives you all the, you know, how to get started, getting the IE mode, learning how to enable IE mode, add toolbar button, reload and and then Internet Explorer mode and so on. Uh, so it's kind of uh, interesting because they're really pushing you now towards Edge. Um, with IE mode, of course, if you do need IE mode, uh, this is mostly enterprise, honestly, why um, IE mode still exists because... The biggest uh, problem of legacy software like Internet Explorer is not, in general, the uh, the standard or the you know the home user. Uh, most home users have moved on to something else and are, for the most part, on Google Chrome. And um, Internet Explorer is mostly because enterprise have certain software, certain ways of connecting that requires Internet Explorer because it had its own engines for many of the things and actually controlled a lot of the operating system. So um, it's really enterprise businesses that have not moved on yet to newer technologies still stuck uh, in Internet Explorer. So that's why they do give a IE mode and edge to uh, enable um, some of the um, some of the things. And of course, there's a lot of legacy left behind. There's a lot of the panels that you can find, like I was showing including panels that, um, you know, if you go to uh, Internet Options, Internet um, internet Options, in the Control Panel, a lot of it, this is the legacy panel for Internet Explorer. Uh, but it's still there because a lot of the IE mode and what Edge is all about for IE mode requires some of the engines that actually Internet Explorer used to have so um, as for the questions that I've got about, should I remove the folders? Don't touch anything. Uh, just leave it alone. Um, like I said, Internet Explorer is not installed. You got some folders named Internet Explorer. You've got some, and you got these little panels with you know that are kind of from there that era. Um, just leave it alone so that everything works fine. And uh, in June there's going to be another a step forward where more of what Internet Explorer is is going to be removed, so you'll have even more of the stuff that's going to disappear. But uh, definitely pushing you to an edge now uh, when an Internet Explorer is uh, asked. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.